Okay, in this video, we're gonna be removing the bottom passenger side seat of an Audi A4. Uh, what we're gonna need is a couple of wrenches. We're gonna need this Torx wrench, this small wrench here as well. And in order to remove it, we're gonna take out the four bolts. There's one, four of them located at the base here. There's one right here, one on this side over here. And we've got two in the front right down at the base here. As you can see, the seat's pretty well beat up. We're going to use our Torx bit on these right here, and we're going to take out these bolts and pull those out just like that. Okay, once we have all the bolts undone, we're going to disconnect the uh, electrical connections underneath of the seat. So they get this little plate here, and if you remove the plate, you'll be able to see the, the four connections. Now, I've already disconnected these. So this seat's just about ready to come out. You just gotta get a little screwdriver in there and pry those loose and they'll come right and they'll just pop right up. Okay, so I've taken the seat out and I've brought it inside where it's nice and cool. This is what I've got underneath. Now I just gotta kinda figure out uh, what I gotta pull off to get to the, uh, to get to all the parts that hold this thing on. But judging by the replacement seat, it looks like we're gonna have to take off like this little panel down here, this little plastic edge over here, undo this little plastic edge up here, and then the plastic edge on the left side as well. So coming over to here, uh -huh. it looks like here's the back plastic edge right here. Uh, what we're gonna have to do, it looks like, is undo uh, this piece right here, maybe undo this one right here, and then start to kinda peel the seat back. Okay, so we're gonna unhook these right here. It looks like the, this plastic piece right here just kind of pops off. Okay, so there's one side. Now let's open this up and then see if we can get to some of the other sides. So I've got my Torx bit. I'm going to take out this bolt right here. There's one. My magnetic tip. And two is down here. It's all the way inside of here. Okay, I need a little bit more length. I'm going to double this up. Now I've got some extra length on my tool. I'll put that all the way through the back side. Okay, I got my magnetic tip. And finally, number four. I'm going to take this one out too. That'll allow me to kind of scoop this out of the way a little bit. And there's another one more torch bit right in here. Okay, you can see this whole unit just kind of comes out. Okay, so it feels like if I push in there, push that down a little bit, I can kind of unclip it. So I'm feeling pretty good. Push in and then lift out, and this comes. This comes undone. So I've got the front and I've got the back. All right, I'm gonna try this paint key right here and see if I can hook behind here. And actually, it seems to be working pretty good. And uh, there we go. So we got three sides off, and now I'm just going to. I've got one more piece down here. If you if you look here on this, you see down in this corner, there's a little tab right here. And a uh, little tab on this side as well, and this one doesn't look like it's stitched on there too well. So uh, we may we may put a few stitches in that before we put it on. Okay, so three sides, and uh, so far so good. So I've located the the other tab, and it's just right here under the seat. So there's a little metal ring around it. I'm not sure what it's on there for, but apparently it holds the tab on. I'm probably gonna have to bend it and uh, and get it out of there. So I've got my pliers here. I'm gonna reach on here. And see if I can just kind of work this a little bit. Come on up inside of here. Right here. You can see we just freed up that piece and it just kind of came right on through there. Okay, so now we've got three sides completely undone and we're going to do the fourth side uh, right now. 
It, so I've got one more side to take off, and this is the pan this is the side with all the panels on it. Um, it looks to me like all the panels have to come off in order to go over the part of the seat right here. As you can see, it has all the holes in it and such where the some of that stuff hooks through. So um, just kind of take a look at it. There's one bolt right here. I'm going to try to get my screwdriver in. And it's got a Torx bit on there, and I'm just going to try to back that out a little bit. Okay, so to in order in order to remove this plastic piece here, it looks like i got to take out these two little pins. And what they do is they have a little center here, and if you push it in, if you push it in, it's gonna, it loosens them up on the other side and allows you to kind of pop them, pop them out. So hopefully, if I've got them pushed in far enough, the one is loose, it feels like, although the other one is not quite loose. So I'll try pushing that in a little bit further. So I pushed in the little pins. It loosened up these little things. I had a little trouble with this one, so I just kind of popped that one loose. This little piece came out right here. Uh, so we're gonna save that. And now, if you come on top here, this should start to free itself up and we can just kind of start to wiggle it around and, um, and see how it comes undone. Okay, so I've got this much done. And this all seems to be kind of one unit. It's got a little bit of a swivel here, but I kind of got to figure how the rest of this comes off. So I got to do a little more investigating into here and see how to pop this part off of it. All right, so trying to get this thing off of here. This is the part that I got to unclip right in here. So I'm going to unclip this part right up here. There's another one right up front. Move your hand. There's another one right inside of here. Move your hand. If you can see inside of there, there's another clip. I don't know if that'll focus in on that. Right inside of there. There's another clip there. So if I undo both of these clips, it should free up this whole unit here. And uh, once that whole unit's freed up, then I should be able to pop that off. Okay, so here's the front clip, and I'm just gonna like lift this up, and it should pop loose. Okay, so that one's loose. Uh, this one is loose as well. And then this whole unit should just kinda come right off here. So I'm gonna work that out. Okay, so now, just kind of lifting my, getting my fingers up behind there. And I'm just kind of maneuvering around and popping this loose right just like that. So there it is. Looks like now, if you can see this, I've got two bolts. I've got one bolt right there, one bolt right there. It looks like I just undo those and then the whole seat should be pretty much free except for maybe this little tab down here. So I'm going to get my, uh, my Torx bit again. If you can see that in, inside of here. My Torx bit. One, and two. Okay, same, same type of screws as it was before. And uh, that whole unit just looks like it all kind of stays together. So I'm just going to bend that over a little bit like that. My two screws off to the side. I'm going to get my paint key again. I'm just kind of hook around from back, hook from behind. And just kind of work the, the bottom edge of the seat off. Okay, after a lot of prying, uh, using my key and pushing down, able to finally get this side freed. Uh, I've got one more spot right down here. I'm going to undo that. Uh, the little clip right here. I've got to get my pliers. Undo that little clip right there. You can actually take that out. Okay. I'm going to feed that up through the top again. And this whole unit should be free and ready to come out. So let's see what happens here. Got to feed this through on the back end here. Feed this through the seat. That little plastic clip was catching on the back side. So now I'm going to put this down gently and we're almost there. 
finally, we've got a clip. I don't know if you guys can see that right in here, there's a wire. We're gonna have to unhook that wire right underneath there. So, turn this back over. And here's the one that I just saw on that side. I'm going to undo this, pushing the little tabs on the sides. You have to fight with that a little bit. You need to get a small screwdriver. Push these in. And that just disconnects like that. Now the whole thing should just kind of fall out of there. Alright. There we have it. We've got our old seat completely out. We've got our new one waiting for us. Right here. And then we're going to drop this in and repeat the whole process again. So it's just going to go in just like that. Okay, we've got our new seat. Here's our wire. We're going to feed the wire down through the bottom of the seat, right here, through the hole, and then down under the seat. And then we're going to kind of sit this in place and then just start attaching it all the way around. I think I'll start with the back, move to the front, put the sides on, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm going to feed the back through. Just gonna grab it with my pliers just like this, kind of jiggle it on through and pull it out. Right like that. Okay. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna hook this on. There we go. Okay, we gotta pull this on around to here. So I really gotta work it back here and then I can clip that on. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to clip this one on first. I think I'm just going to leave it right there and I'm going to clip on the sides, which are some of the toughest parts. So I'll do the tougher parts first and then move my way on down to the bottom of the chair. Okay, so here's the side of the seat. They're basically the same. Got the holes in the sides as well. So I just got to kind of turn this over like this and clip it right onto there. So I'm going to struggle with that and see if I can pull that on. So I'm just going to bend this over. I don't know if you can see that. This is really stubborn, but um, hopefully once it kind of pulls over, i pull it back a little bit too. I can feel it getting started, and then yeah, it's just kind of sinking on there. Nice, right there, and that's got it. That's got it on there. I'm going to shift this back just a little bit. I think I've got to shift back some. i got my holes exposed right there for my little... Uh, metal clip right here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this bar on, back on. Okay, make sure my uh, screws are seated just right. Okay, we've got our, now we're gonna attach this right to these posts right here. One post is gonna lay in here, one post is gonna lay right in here, and then we're gonna push these and close them, and that'll hold this right on there, so. If we can get that. There's the back one. The front one's going to be a little, a little trickier. And let's see, it just kind of pops down. This is a little tricky. Okay, there we go. And then click and lock them in place. And that's good to go. Okay, now I'm going to take these, there's little slots right here, I'm just going to kind of stick that in there, slide it on around, and this thing should pop back on there just like that. I'm going to put my screw back in here and put my pins back in here. One of these pins is still here, I've got the other one on the floor, and I'll line those up. So, we'll take this, got to scoop back just a little bit to line up the hole right here. So, I'll work on that and uh, get that plugged and put in place. Okay. I've got this part clipped in right here. I'm going to wrap the back side of this around the back of the seat and over here I'm going to make sure this goes on the outside I'm just going to pop this over this little bar right here and that seat's in right there and there's my screw hole I've got my small screw right here I'll use this wrench here to get it started 
Okay, so down here, under here, we're gonna take these little, these little pins, just gonna push them in here, just like that. I'm gonna use my pliers, just gonna push the outsides of them all the way in, just like that. I'm gonna reseat this other one as well. I'm gonna make sure that this pin in the center is pushed back far enough. I'm just gonna seat that in there just like that. So I wanna get it all the way seated, and then I'm gonna push in that center piece. And what, it's, what that's gonna do is spread apart the back side of that pin and hold it in place. Okay, so there we go, and that's rock solid. Okay, I flipped my chair over, and now I'm uh, just gonna take this and clip it on over to here. So I'm gonna flip this over, make sure my front of my seat is seated, and I'm just gonna pull on it. Just clip that until I hear it clicking, or if it feels seated. That doesn't feel too bad. I'm gonna push it to the back some more. And I kind of heard some clicking and it feels pretty solid. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now it's really, that feels good. That's, that's where I want it to be. Now, I got this little part right down here. I'm gonna feed through the seat. I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna try to grab it right here. Okay, now I'm just going to hook up the front, and then I'm going to pull it as hard as I can from the top. I'm going to shove it all back, then I'm going to pull it around to the back. So just flip this over. This should go pretty quickly. This will probably be one of the easier ones that I do. Pop that on there. You can hear it popping, and they're clipped right on. So the front's nice and good. Two sides are good. Now just the back. Okay, so I've got the seat upright. I'm just going to push back and pull on the back at the same time and really try to work this seat back so I don't have to really pull and tear get to the back side of it so kind of want to jammed all the way back in there now I'm gonna flip it over okay so here's the back so that really helped out a lot you can see this isn't gonna to be too much to just kind of pull it over this little edge right back here so just gonna move that out of the way for now there we go that makes that a lot easier, moving that light out of the way. Making sure that's seated really nice. Yeah, I can feel it now, the whole thing's seated really well. So now I can just kind of put this back in place. Okay, there we go. Alright, so here's our connections right here. I'm just going to pop that right back in for the old connection on the seat. Here, maybe they went way in there like that. And maybe this one went. Right in there, like that. Okay, so now it's time to put back the little bucket tray that goes underneath the seat. Our first tough screw was, was this one down here, so I'm gonna start with that one. I'm gonna try to get my uh, screw gun in there. Proved pretty tough before. Try it again this time. And that wasn't so bad. So now that I've got that, I can put the screw back in right over here. Okay, that one's good and tight. I'm gonna go way in there. Good and tight. Go ahead and shut that up and we're good to go. Now all we have to do is just reinstall the seat and uh, we're going to try this thing out. Alright, so I cleaned up a little bit of the stuff here. We vacuumed it all out. I actually uh, took some detergent, cleaned up this area here. This is where all our clips are going to clip in. You can see it nice and clear now. I've got a light in there. This piece actually goes like right on top of that, just like that. So we're going to clip everything in, uh, clip this piece into here, and then just pop that on. Here's our four bolts. There's two right there, two right there. They're going to go into these holes right here, one, two, three, and four. I'm just going to lift up the whole seat, put it in, drop the bolts in, uh, 
Actually, before I drop the bolt in, I'm gonna plug everything in, put the bolt on, and we should be all ready to go. Okay, so first thing I wanna do is plug all these in under here. Okay, so we're just gonna plug in all of our connections right here. There's one. There's our red one right here, and black one. Clicks right on just like that. Take this, wrap it around. Okay, that clicks in just like that. Everything's good and secure. Actually slides in like that. And that clicks down just like that. Okay, now I'm just gonna put the seat in place. It actually has pins, so you can feel it kind of pop into place, just like that, just like I felt it popping into place. All four pins went right where they were supposed to go. I want to make sure my plastic plate cover is in place here. I'm going to fold the seat up. I've got my bolts. There's my holes. I'm going to get those started by hand right in the back there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to shed some light down here. Got my bolt right there, my other bolt hole right down here. I'll get that one started as well. I don't know if you can see that. Then, everything seems to be working. I'm going to go ahead and tighten those ones down in the back before I push this all the way forward. So, I'll grab my wrench and tighten these down. Okay, so this Torx bit. If I put that on there, I can't get my wrench on there. So what I did was I've got this little wrench. It actually fits right there, nice and snug. So I'm going to put that right on my, my torque bit, and I'm going to be, be able to lift that up a little bit and then torque down on it here. Let's put this in. I'm going to move my seat back as far as I can go. Then I'm going to expose these bolt heads down here. I don't know if you can see them. There's one here. I'm gonna drop my bolt in right there. Okay, and so here we go. Seat works great. Forward and reverse all work. Seat comes up like it's supposed to. Seat folds up like it's supposed to. Looks great, works great. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up in the video. Thanks so much, bye.